Hi. Hi. Welcome to Fifty Shades of Grape. We're back after a minute. New set. New like set. Like a new set. We have a little project. It's called Mystery Wine Project. Mystery Wine Project. A uh, friend of mine told us that they moved into a new house and the prior owners left behind the entire contents of the wine cellar. And could we help them figure out what they had? And so we said, oh, all right. And so this will be a series of short videos where we open an old bottle of wine and see what happens. See what happens. <laughs> so hopefully so this will be fun and educational. The wine we're starting with here is uh, Silverado Vineyards 1991. It's actually this bottle. The label's off, but it is the same wine. So it's Silverado from the heart of Napa. On the Silverado Trail. Silverado Trail. First vintage of Silverado uh, Cabernet was 1981. So this is 10 years after they started making Cabernet and uh, 27 years ago. Yeah. So this wine is older than all of our kids and we don't even have kids, but if we did, right. this would be about the same age or older than our kids. So here's the tools of the trade here. We've got a foil cutter, obviously. We've got a corkscrew. Old school. And Corkscrew. we have an Asso. Asso. So we're gonna probably use the combination of all these things to try to extract the cork. Because uh, the corks in these bottles are gonna be who knows what condition they could be dry as heck they could be sopping wet it not. was it was stored in a temperature controlled cellar as far as we we can tell and yeah um but it, it's still old it was on its side so we'll see we'll see we'll give it a shot so here All we right. go okay all right so you see hopefully you can see this and wow that's a wet cork. It's a wet cork. All right, so. so but here. this is why we're doing this, because we don't know. Um. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Um. And that, okay, that happens a lot. So. Broken cork. Broken cork. Which means. All right. Get out the also and hopefully it comes out but at this point it'll probably just dive right into the bottle i will try to finesse it out yeah i can't you can't really see what you're doing there but um the also is is like a two flat prongs that you slide on either side of the cork and then you press it together at the whoop. and there it goes and there it goes. okay bye bye hope you find your dad yeah this is why we have the screen so let's give it a pour here Okay. We have a little, uh, oh yeah, I just mentioned we have a screen here. So it doesn't look one. overly brown, it, which I thought it might. It does have some brown, of course, because it's an old bottle. Um, and for those of you who are new to wine, all wine goes brown as it ages. So this wine might have started very vibrant. Purple... Uh, you know, like the color we think of as red wine, and then as it ages, it gets browner and browner. And um, same with white wine. White wine can start very, very pale, and as it ages, it gets more and more gold, and then it moves into brown and like very beautiful, deep orange. All right, there is tone. some sediment in there. Wow, not a lot. Not a lot. I, I a stopped lot. it a little bit short, but. Yeah. All right. All right. Here goes nothing. So we're going to taste it, <laughs> and then we're going to let it sit and then taste it again. So, let's see. All right. It smells pretty good. So it's gotten a little bit of air just coming from the bottle into the decanter. It's going to get more air. I'm going to swirl it just a hair to blow off any funk. Um, it's like the funk of a thousand years in the in the bottle. Yeah, and this has been in there for 27 years, so. Yeah. It's not wow. super funky. No, it's actually, it's really not. there's some, there's some uh, fruit on the nose. Yeah, that's, uh, yes, yes there is. Oh, so, it looks a little cloudy. Uh, hmm, that may just be air. Hmm. That is. Mm. I don't know if 
I like it. I like it. It's not it's not turned yet. It's not a corked wine. Mm -hmm. No, it's not corked. I just don't know if I like it. I think I need to let it sit. There's no faults there. So we're going to let it sit for, for uh, maybe 10 minutes and see okay. how we do. We're back. <laughs> 10 minutes in. And let's uh, do a little snippy sniff. Don't say that. You're not allowed to say that. Hashtag copyright <laughs> registered Gary V. Gary V. Circle R. Mmm. Ooh. Really opening smells, up. Smells nicer now. Luscious. See, I'm really surprised. It's nice, medium palette's nice. The end, there's, there's a little bit of tannin in there, believe it or not. Oh, some for sure. really soft tannins, but there's still some tannins in there. Mm -hmm. We should also mention that this is Stag's Leaf Vineyard. I'm not sure if we mentioned that. In we the, didn't. Nope. Stag's Leaf Vineyard. Stag's Leaf Vineyard. One of the people that uh, put Stag's Leaf on the map, one of the first three vineyards planted with Cabernet and Stag's Leaf. I think that um, this is going to be even better in a little bit more time. Do you? Time. Okay. I do. We'll be back in a few more minutes. Silverado, Stag's Leap District, 1991. I should put my phone down now. I was just checking tweets while I was waiting on this wine. All right. We're 30 minutes in. All right. Here we go. Swirly, swirly, swirly. Hello. It's a big glass. Nose is still delicious. Decent acid, good mid palate. Confession, I burned my tongue earlier. Mm. So that's not good. Nope. Yeah, that's not good. All I can feel is hot mm. on the middle of my tongue. Oh really? Mm -hmm. So it's still nice. Uh, doesn't have quite as long a finish, but still a very very nice wine. It's not long for this world though. I would definitely open it if you have one. Yeah. 91 was a really good uh, vintage. It scored 91 points on Lynn Spectator. In uh, Napa. Yeah, in Napa. And uh, it says 89 and earlier, our past peak, 90, 91, 92, 93, our drink now. This is definitely mm -hmm. a drink now. Don't hold. Don't hold. It's still good. Don't you hold them. Don't you fold them. Don't you count your wine bottles before you left the table. Kenny Rogers. So there we are. So 30 minutes in. You want to go 45? Let's just see what happens. Um, okay. 40 more far. Uh. <laughs> what? I'm just watching cat videos. 40 what? 45 minutes in. 40 phenomena. That's what I said. That's what I said. Nose is still nice. You know what? The nose on this glass smells more raisinated right now than mm, it has before. That's a very good point, yes. But you know what, though? After I swirled it, now it doesn't. It, it's just like it instantly blew off. Mm. I'm just going to say, I don't have a lot of hope for this 45 minutes in. It's fading. Definitely yeah. fading. The flavors are yeah. up front yeah. into medium palate, but okay. after that, it's kind of gone. It's all right. So, kind of drink up. Yeah, 45 minutes. Not bad for, for, uh, for a 27 year old wine. 1991. Yeah. yeah, with the wet, wet, wet cork. Yeah. Drink it if you have them. Smoke them if you got them. Hello. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.